Welcome to the Tracy Boards Recording Studio. We have a very special guest. We're trying our trying our hand at some technology here, and I brought in our special guest, Mark Ponzio. You want to say hi, Mark? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank Good you. Stuff. Uh, yeah. So rather than me babble, let them let them hear from someone else. Tell us why are you here? What? How, why did you zoom into my recording studio and and rudely interrupt this video, Mark? Well, you know, uh, we started the uh, Brooklyn Crokinole Club uh, about five months ago now, and uh, we've been, uh, which you're a member of, so that's great. Um, and we've been uh, holding small local tournaments in New York, um, trying to get the Crokinole scene back up and running in New York since COVID. Yeah. And um, this is just one of our get-togethers. We did a small tournament. Um, we had a double elimination tournament. It was very cozy. We had about nine guys. And, uh, and ladies, sorry, pardon me. And um, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I was just uh, hoping to see if I could get some commentary. So yeah, so yeah, a little backstory for our viewers. Mark sent me this this video footage and I had Mackenzie go ahead and do the scoreboard. So after we've had a little more of a chitter chatter here, I'm going to make our heads small up in the corner. And then we're just going to play this video and Mark and I are going to try to dual commentate this uh <laughs> this match so uh can you tell can you just tell us a little bit more you said about five months ago you started the club and what kind of what kind of numbers what kind of turnout are you having uh well now the club's about 35 strong um we our events are usually around 10 or 12 guys at this point but we've we've literally um because of covid concerns because of uh you know space concerns it's tough to find an open space in brooklyn um we've really only had about four large get-togethers um, and okay. we have some smaller get-togethers of a small break-off group. Um, we hold events in Brooklyn and Queens and in New York, uh, Manhattan proper. So um, we're tr trying to kind of combine the whole New York group together. Um, and uh, the, the club just keeps growing and we, we keep promoting it and then trying to get Crokinole to become a household name uh, everywhere in America, as well as it is in Canada, or as, at least as good as it is in Canada, because I know I know you guys have invented it, but we're trying to we're trying to take it take it over and make it ours too. You know, we love this game, so so, um, so yeah. We, just so we're we clear, have, you um, you do tell people that it's the greatest game on earth, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that's been on that's been on our. We have a Facebook group, and that's definitely been in print on our Facebook club. So no Proper no thing. problems there. Proper <laughs> thing. All right. Yeah. So you mentioned this uh, the match that we're about to do commentary on was the final. So you started with how many people on this night? We had nine people and it was a double elimination tournament. Uh, the players you see here on the left will be uh, Stanley Chin and on the right is Connor Cord. Um, just to give you a little backstory, um, everyone here is, they're all great guys. Stanley um, has been playing for maybe, I think five or six years. I'm not 100% certain on that, but he has a group of three players he's been playing with. They were the first members of my club. Um, I reached out to them through uh, the Crokinole Connections map that you so kindly put up on your site. Wanted and uh, just a, com a complete shot in the dark. I, I found a, a board close to me and I said, hey, my name's Mark. I'm looking for a club. And, uh, and I got a, an email response with this effusive character whose name is Barney. He's also one of the major first members of our club. And yeah. um, I managed to look in with Stanley and Barney and a few other guys. And now we've got our own club with you know a bunch of people. And he is actually playing, believe it or not, with an eye patch on. He had eye surgery like two weeks before this event. And um, he came in with like a regular black eye patch. And uh, we we said, no way, that's not going to that's not going to cut it. I bought him a pink skull and crossbones eye patch. I also bought him one with a unicorn on it just because that was that was even more fun. But he's a character. He's got the greatest sense of humor. He's a lot of fun and um, great player. Uh, and I have a lot of fun playing him. Uh, now, Connor, on the other side of the board here is a complete beginner. He's been playing for maybe a year or so. Uh, he's never played anyone who has played the game before other than the people, you know, friends and family he's taught. And he earned a nickname at this event, the machine. He doesn't machine. miss. He does not miss. He's the, actually the Terminator for John Connor. It's not his name, but it's close enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was a gift from one of our other club members, David, but you'll, you know, maybe you'll, you'll see them in, in later editions, but point being John, uh, sorry, Connor, is uh, one of those people who does not miss a 20. He, he His shots are on point and on target, maybe not into the fancier stuff yet, 
but I can tell you he he's just so on point and it's incredible for someone who's been playing for about a year and has very little like sort of higher level play experience and um yeah he did great he won the tournament oh, sorry cut that out sorry <laughs> oh spoiler alert <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're gonna have to cut that sorry sorry mac <laughs> uh, but he amateur, did great uh, amateur hour up. over here what picking back up uh he did very well <laughs> and you'll, you'll see for yourself how good a how good a shot he is and uh and i yeah. uh, hope you enjoy the show <laughs> yeah all right let what i'm gonna try here uh, this is a never done this before so i'm hoping this is working out i'm gonna shrink us mark i'm gonna stick you and i up in the top right hand corner yeah, we're not, uh, we shouldn't be interfering with gameplay at all. So remind us uh, to to the left with the eye patch is who? Uh, that's Stanley Chin. And Stanley then on the right to the is left. Connor Cord. Uh, yeah, on the left is Stanley Chin. And on the right is Connor Cord. And the um, the game will be, just to set it up a little bit, we're playing uh, a race to seven. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And that's a great way to go to, to end a tournament. I mean, a lot of times they do a race to nine, but it really doesn't matter as long as it's an odd number. It's nice that it's seven because that, uh, yeah, it just no way it's going to end in a tie. And it's yeah. long enough that if somebody falls behind, they've got a chance to battle back and, and uh, really make a show of it. So, all right, without any further ado, Mark, let's, let's kick this off. Our first ever dual commentary. So, uh, yeah, you start us off. Tell us what's happening to start here. And now, a word from our sponsors. Are you tired of new players pulling buttons out of the ditch and not sure what to do about it? Are you frustrated by people starting rounds with the wrong number of buttons? Hey, wait a minute, it's my hammer, why don't I have any buttons left? Now all your problems can be solved with this simple slab of wood. All my problems? Yep, seriously? Every one of them. Global warming, inflation, and keeping your crokinole buttons straight. Grab yours today at tracyboards.com. This ad is for concrete only. Tracy boards may not be held liable for global warming, inflation, or a player's attention span. I knew that was gonna. All right, camera's rolling, guys. Okay, so we got uh, we got. Looks like uh, Stan is gonna start with an open uh, open shot here. Obviously, just misses his twenty, and uh, Connor's gonna respond. <laughs> <laughs> little little damage twenty there. We had a second there where we everyone stopped and said, "Wait a minute, wait a minute, did he just score?" And they were like, "No, no, no, that's that's not a point." <laughs> So in the shot oh. Stanley may drop in his 20, as our friend Simon would say, it wiped his feet because the button went in and slid back into the 20. So, oh, a super Steve. That would have been a fantastic yep. opportunity there for him to even the 20 score. Yep. Oh, wow. There you go. Got a good, got a good, uh, a good uh, angle in there, yeah. And Lots uh, of damage coming off this board, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're playing off a, by the way, they're playing off a Willard board uh, yeah. that uh, one of the other main, uh, members who started the club with me uh, owns. So having a good time with this. Yeah. Not, uh, not wasting a lot of time, are they? They're uh, pretty much lining <laughs> up and firing away there. That was the, definitely yeah. the right idea coming up that line. Yeah. Yeah. And uh... wow. That was the final yeah. shot. So yeah, Stanley. Does, does he have a nickname like pirate or <laughs> you can see the eye patch for a second there yeah um, yeah no I... no that, that's just a new thing, thing that just happened but uh i made sure to to tack on an eye patch over his face in our club photo okay um, proper thing you know, we have a new photo now but but i put it on before just to just to give him a little hard time um but yeah Oh, they, they, yeah, they just run right back into it. You know, it's not it's not quite one of those higher level professional matches, but uh, the guys do great and we had a fun time. Yeah. So you can see them just shooting away. They are really firing away here. And uh, <laughs> Stanley's got the hammer in this round. So at this point, he's uh, I'd say he has the advantage, but he's got a long shot all the way across there. Yeah, I, I think he caught a peg on the way in. But uh, all right. Connor finding his groove with the 20s. Yep. Stan came up just a bit short there, but I think Connor's going to get. Oh, he, yeah, he caught a peg on the way out again. Mm. Yeah. And at one point, we actually stopped and had a conversation about the Willard uh, because I was like, I was talking to Connor and I was like, hey, do you know who Willard was? And oh, um, no. someone dropped like, a 20 for his opponent. Sorry, continue. Yeah. So uh, he was like, oh, uh, yeah, someone explained it to me. 
And he was like, knowing Tracy's boards, having played on your boards and knowing uh, Willard's boards now, he's like, this makes perfect sense. They're, you know, very <laughs> similarly smooth. Yeah. <laughs> All right, another round over just like that, but it looks like uh, it looks like Connor took that round. So they're yep. tied up two points each. Yeah, quick a quick check at the end to count the score and make sure everything lined up and that's it. Yeah. That's, Stanley's uh, great. Um, one of the things that always happens with him though, you got to watch real carefully. He's one of those guys you cannot for the life of him remember whose hammer it is. Right? So you got to be real careful. You can you can see in the bottom corner maybe there's a fork on the table. Um, okay. We started using that fork as the hammer counter. I don't know if we're right. using it right now, but <laughs> that was our hammer. I had uh, a friend over just talking about that, how maybe our new button trays should have something on them to indicate who's got the hammer. But I said something like that, a system like that is only as good as you are about using it. So yeah, yeah. like if sure. you forget to move that fork, then people are working off bad information rather than no information. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a tough miss by that. Stanley. Sorry, go ahead. I think you said you called it situational awareness, and I think that's fair. Yeah, you kind of yeah. have to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. So they are tied in the twenty count, but Connor yep. manages to roll one in. That's going to be a tough shot. He. Yeah, uh, I think he has a work. I think he has to try and get around that peg, and he just wow. touches it. He did. Yeah. That was a great shot. Yeah. Connor with two on, but a potential double. Right. Looks like he pulls so, it into block a little, but uh, didn't quite get the double. So being tied in the 20 count, that should give another round to Connor. Connor, yep. Yep, Connor takes that one by 10, going up four points to two. So fairly uh, fairly evenly matched. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, you can see... Oh, and Connor missed very rarely missed one, but it okay. <laughs> and uh, and Stan Stan definitely has his moments where he's hot and cold, but he can pull some some really tight shots off. Somebody bumping our camera. It really is amateur hour here, huh? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was very likely me adjusting it to make sure I had a good shot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you see that follow through twenty? That was a great yeah. shot. Great shot. Now the machine's getting dialed in on his twenties, eh? Yep. Yeah. And let's see, Stan has to try and get that off. Yeah, he does a good job of that. And Watching Stan play, I'm wondering if that eye patch is giving him some grief. I've seen him, seen him hit pegs a couple of times, and yeah, with uh, only having one eye, that could only have one eye off. seeing at the time is what I mean. Could <laughs> well, yeah. we actually decided as he was playing through the tournament that he did better with the eye patch on because oh, he okay. <laughs> just he had a fuzzy vision from the one eye. It was crazy, but it seemed to work that way. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Ooh. I mean, he, and he, he made it to the finals at the very least. So, you know, yeah, <laughs> seems to work for him. So he has, he would need to get two off and stay in the 15 in order yeah, to tie this that. round. Cause he's down to 20. Yeah. Yeah. He's so in he pretty deep at that point. That would be, there's a circus shot and then there's a hail Mary. So yeah. 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 He right had the right idea, idea. Not, not enough legs on it, right? Yep. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's nice to see these new players playing so fast. And sometimes, like, new players will play really slow. But I almost feel like if they slowed down just a second or two per shot, I feel like they could, they could get even dialed in even further. Sometimes just taking that second look to see, um, look at all your options. Yeah. Oh. That was definitely a heavy hanger there. So those are tough to tough to get. Yep. But uh, Connor's pretty good at clearing them out. Um, let's see what he does here. Yeah, he nice drops 20, it. Back. Even enough the yeah. 20 count. Yeah. Oh. Bump and run. Yeah. So at this point, Connor is in, in pretty good position. He's just losing on the board a bit, but he has to – he knows he's got the hammer and he's only got a tie to win the whole match. So, oh, he's up six two. Yeah, this match yeah. has gone so fast. Yeah, it's hard to. <laughs> it's so quick. It's it's almost hard to follow, but they're doing great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice he's clean. he's reaching the board. Nice clean takeouts there. 
Yeah, it's still coming down to this last shot. He needs to he needs to make this shot. I guess they now they've each got one shot left, but uh yeah, Connor's definitely in in command here. Yep. And I guess yeah, he can do a hit and stick to tie or he can roll into the 15. Oh. <laughs> He just barely wow. uh, went a little too far. Yeah. <laughs> if he had just if he had just done the hit and stick out in the ten, he got greedy, and that's what cost yeah. him. I respect that though. Like going for the, <laughs> going for the definitive win. I think I think Stan at the end of that shot, Stan was like, "Oh, you could have had me." I think he said mm. something like that. <laughs> just a yeah, little off on that open twenty. I guess we're at game point again. Here, here we go. Oh, that angle was really good. He almost drained that. Yeah, yeah, it definitely jumped a bit as it went over the hole. Decent take out there. Oh, Coming look at nice that. <laughs> that was a dagger, a dagger shot. <laughs> that made Stanley mad. He slams his next shot right into the 20. Yeah, right. Almost pulled it off. Almost pulled the angle in on that one. Yeah, that's two that he's had really good, really good attempts at the angle in. With Thank one God. eye, no less. So yeah. That's, that's, you know, that's something. <laughs> oh, he almost uh, got a drift 20 there. That definitely would have been a dagger shot. Yeah, Connor's got a lot of power in his shot. He can, he can really put a, like a, lot of, a lot of heat on it, so to speak. <laughs> so what do we got here? See, here's a time... And I guess that puts it one more. Yeah, that no, that tied. So they tied that tied round. So Connor wins it seven to he five. That last See, point. That's the time there. I think if he had uh if he had slowed down and just um looked at his options, he may have been able to find a way to to win that round, not just tie it. But uh yeah. Thank you very but much for know. sending that footage in. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, people people will comment that they'd like to see some less experienced players playing so uh, hopefully that scratches that itch for people and i always say that people will watch the tournament play and then sometimes they get intimidated because they're watching the best of the best of the best play and uh yeah obviously when uh, so many tournaments have a broad range of skills so um i think the question i'm going to assume it's on everyone's mind mark because it's certainly on my mind I mean, it was it was your club, it was your tournament, and yet you 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 weren't in the finals. So <laughs> why? Well, thank thank you for putting me on the spot a little bit. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, I um I I actually got bumped. I got beat by Stan earlier okay. on in the tournament, yeah. and I've beaten him in previous tournaments. But uh, I was kind of having a great time uh, recording the footage so that we could be on and yeah. uh, and you know maybe uh, maybe. Uh, maybe popularize and, and, and get a few people to, to sort of enjoy this game with us. So that's, yeah. that's what I was hoping for. And, and I was happy to do it. And uh, no, I had a good time too, though. I had, a, had a great run. I think I, uh, I ended up, uh, I think went three wins and then obviously two losses to fall out of the tournament, but yeah. it was still, it was still a really, really good time. And we all had fun and it was, you know, a great event. We had a great time and we, we love, we love playing. Yeah. Um, I had to, I had to ask that question. I had to, I had to rib you a little bit here, Mark. I mean, it's been pretty friendly so far. So uh, yeah, definitely, you have my sympathy. Trying to to run an event and and play in it can add, can add some extra challenge. And yeah, but no, I'm I'm not, not hiding. I'm definitely not hiding. But I, I lost. Those guys beat me, and oh. it happens. You know? <laughs> so oh. so I'm not I'm not ashamed to admit it. The people in my club are, are pretty good. So yeah, we have. <laughs> I, I've lost more than a couple of crocodile matches in my day. So yeah, <laughs> but it's still, it's still fun. So that that's the main thing, but uh, no, thank you very much for sharing that footage. Thanks for, for giving it a, a run, doing the dual commentary and telling us a little bit about your club. Uh, any, any final words, thoughts, anything to yeah, share um, with the Tracy so boards quick, audience? If you're, if you're interested, it's a Facebook club. Uh, the name of the club is the Brooklyn crocodile club. Um, anyone can join from any area. We'll take all comers. Anyone who's interested in the game, uh, we're happy to have you. And, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're happy to teach. We're happy to learn. And, uh, you know, anyone who's uh, willing to show up and just have a good time, 
uh, or just wants to sort of watch what's going on in this corner of the world, we're happy for that too. Um, thank you so much for having us. I really appreciate this chance to kind of, uh, you know, put our name out there and enjoy Crokinole with you today. Yeah. I would say based on the stories you're telling about your club and just the the vibe I was getting hearing some of the background noise of that match, you guys are definitely you're definitely embodying the spirit of this great game. It seems very friendly, very good natured. You're welcoming anybody who wants to come and play and enjoy it. And uh, that's what I, that's what I love to see. And yeah, um, I, I'd be happy to do this again. You have another finals match that you want to send our way and we can do this uh, something like this all over again. Uh, I will enjoy it. And I, and I think our audience will as well. So thanks very much again, Mark. And uh, we'll leave it there. Make it Thank a great you. day. Thank you so much. Awesome. Take care. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.